PLR. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Charlie Sheen. You don't even have to work to come up with a joke. A warlock filled with tiger blood. Sounds a lot like Gaddafi, doesn't it? Here we go. We make the trade. Gaddafi does two and a half men. Charlie gets to run Libya. Charlie takes his porn stars with him. Gaddafi gets to bring his elite Amazon bodyguards with him. There you go. Another world crisis averted with just a little thinking outside the box. Or well, perhaps thinking about the box. I'm not sure. Whatever. Yesterday, the Supreme Court, just in case you were wondering, did not side with those religious a-holes from Kansas that show up at military funerals and thank God for dead soldier signs. The court ruled on the side of the Constitution. No matter how sick and twisted we still feel about their speech, they still have the right to free speech in this country, and that's what the case was about. Of course, this doesn't mean that there's no reason we can't show up at their funerals with signs of bullhorns saying, God hates a-holes and he has smitten one of yours and he will smite you all for having offended him. In fact, why wait for a funeral? Why don't we just have folks standing outside that church night and day with signs about how God hates a-holes and you're the biggest? Let's drive them deep into their compound, and the compound in this case is the rock they crawled out from under. It's folks like that that puts doubts about God into the rest of people. For if there were a God, why wouldn't he smite these obscene, malevolent creatures with the heel of his boot for speaking his words in vain? Then again, if they actually are speaking for God, it's not the kind of God I'm interested in. I think I'll stick with the words of the Lords of Cobal and the philosophy of the Time Lords. Oh, oh yeah. And when it comes to free speech. I think we all know that you really ought to pass a law about not using your cell phone in the bathroom. What kind of inflated sense of self-importance do you have that you can't not be available for five minutes? I'm standing, standing in the men's room the other day, got my back to the door, which always makes me a little antsy, but anyway, guy comes in, and a couple of seconds later he's going, hey, how you doing? Well, I don't want to seem like some sort of a stuck-up prick, and I go, well, I'm just fine. I'm a home run looking for a ballpark. How you doing on this fine day? And the guy gives me attitude and says, hey, I'm on the phone. Oh, really, you self-important putts? You're in the bathroom, and you're talking like you're in your office, and you're the only one there. I'm thinking unless the president is asking you for launch codes, I ought to grab that phone and flush it down the toilet and then give you a swirling shampoo at the same time while I'm at it. But then I'm thinking, am I really pissed off because he was talking on the phone or because he made me feel like an idiot because he wasn't talking to me? You know, that's the problem with all this new technology. You see somebody walking around in a parking lot talking out loud, you used to be able to say to yourself immediately, Whoa, space shot, shields up, avoid contact, phasers on stun. And then you see that gizmo in their ear and you know you got to power down because it's just some pitiful fool that can't be left alone with their own thoughts and has to constantly be jabbering regardless of whether or not they have anything worth saying. Frack it all. It's Friday. We'll talk to ourselves. Oh, yes. We will show everyone that we are the top of the food chain here on planet Earth. We're going to pig out, pork out, freak out. It's almost going to be kind of like a spring weekend. So let us spring into action by pigging out, porking out, freaking out to the best of our God-giving ability because this, the first weekend of March, is now in session. And you giata, 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 gotta, 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 gotta,